everyone, welcome back to Real Real Reviews. This is Cody Williams, and we're here to talk about the movie Nacho Libre. After the success from the cult classic film Napoleon Dynamite, director Jared Hess decided to make a follow-up along with the same style of comedy as that movie, so we are gifted with Nacho Libre. Much to my surprise, ever since seeing it for the first time, I absolutely love this movie. As incessantly dumb as it may be, it's still a fun time with its dry and juvenile humor. The movie story follows a monastery cook, Ignacio, who spends his day feeding orphans and dreams of becoming a wrestler. When Sister Encarnacion arrives at the monastery, Ignacio realizes that the only way to win her affection and to save the children will be by competing as a luchador wrestler. Being a dumb comedy movie that can be equally ridiculously and nonsensical, it does provide some great slapstick humor that anyone can enjoy. Simply said, this is a great movie to turn off your brain to and to just enjoy having some gut-riching laughs. Over the course of time, this movie has acquired a large following being extremely quotable. It may be self-aware of how outrageous it can be, but it's super enjoyable for the most part. As one can guess already, the movie's biggest standout is Jack Black himself. I've always been a big fan of his career as a musician or as an actor. In this particular movie, he plays the role of Ignacio perfectly, and I just couldn't have imagined anyone else in the role. The way he uses a Hispanic accent is actually pretty good. Combined with his line deliveries and performances, he's ridiculously hilarious in this movie. You just can't help yourself but to laugh. He may be over the top at times, but he makes up for it in some instances. The movie contains a lot of the same dry, deadpan humor that made Napoleon Dynamite a cult classic. Its sense of comedy is not as boisterous like most comedy movies nowadays, but this is the style of humor that I really appreciate the most. Even after seeing this movie an innumerable amount of times, it always manages to make me chuckle consistently throughout. This movie definitely knows it's not above fart and poop jokes, but how they were strategically placed, I will admit they were funny. As stupid as it can be in some instances, Nacho Libre is still a highly infectious entertaining time that will keep you constantly laughing throughout. This is one of those movies that keeps getting funnier the more you rewatch it. If you can turn off your brain and enjoy this movie for what it is, I can guarantee that you will pretty much have a fun time with it. I give this movie a B minus. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Keep up with my real reviews.